Okay, I just woke up. I put on a morning earring and I'm ready to react. Hi everyone and welcome. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Kostis. If it's not, welcome back. So last night I was at work and uh, I realized that three songs were released for Junior Eurovision 2023. Malta, North Macedonia and uh, and Estonia, Estonia. So, because I am gonna be very busy these days and I will not have time to make separate videos, I decided to group them up. They got released in the same day, they will have a video all together. So, because we have three songs, let's not waste any more time and let's dive into it. I'll do them with chronological order, so I'm starting with North Macedonia, Tamara Gruzeska, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Kazimi, Kazimi Koi, I think it's pronounced Koi. Okay, nice dress, Tamara. Very nice dress. Is it a dress or is it a two piece? I'm so sad that North Macedonia didn't participate in Eurovision 2023. I think they will participate in Eurovision 2024, the adult Eurovision. I'm talking about the adult Eurovision. If you know, let me know. Very, very nice voice. Okay, we started like a ballad, but now a beat is coming in, and uh, I like that. I like that. It makes it stand out from other ballads because we have a lot of ballads in Junior Eurovision 2023. And I was right, it's Koi. What does that mean? Please, someone, whoever knows, let me know what that Kazimi Kazimi Koi means. I love these instruments at the back. I, I love them. They are, they are more like, they sound traditional. I, like, I really enjoy them. Yes, this music is amazing. I'm trying to understand the visuals and maybe get some clues about what the song is about. We see her like with very futuristic outfits and then we see her with uh, this uh, dress at the beginning, which I think it's a top and a and, um, skirt underneath, uh, which is more formal. And then we see her with the hood as well, which I don't, it, it doesn't really seem futuristic, but it seems more like a fairy tale. So I'm a bit confused with the visuals. I would like to know if they had something to do with the song. Okay. What I'm, I'm seeing this year in Junior Eurovision is that they all kind of go deep, like at least the balance. They, they try to convey messages, which is very beautiful to see that young kids are trying to do that. I know that most of them didn't write the songs themselves, they had writers. But still, these kids are going deep and I'm really impressed. I don't remember really in their age if I was thinking of such big issues. In this Junior Eurovision, they are really focusing on deep issues and uh, it's, it's really interesting. Phone call. Calimera. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I really, really, really enjoy this bit at the back. I think 
it brings an energy and uh, it will make it stand out from the other ballads. And this instrumental instrumentation, this music, I love it. Oh, she, she flying! Okay, what did I think about North Macedonia's uh, song? Again, as I said, these kids they are focusing on deep issues this year, which is very interesting to see, and uh, I'm quite happy about it. Maybe they will make a better world than we're doing. I didn't get the message of the song. There was a part where she spoke English, but I think it wasn't enough for me to understand. Uh, and I also didn't get the message from the visuals. So if I was the North Macedonian delegation, that's where I would focus with the staging, maybe, to try and show exactly what's the message of the song through the visuals, because we cannot understand it from the language, which I love. I love that it's on the, um, their language. I don't want songs necessarily to be in English. I just need to understand what it is about, especially if it's a ballad. So yeah, that's that's uh, what I would focus on. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy the music. The music for me is the strong part, the traditional music, the ethnic music that it has. And let's go to Estonia. The name is Ahana, and she's singing Hoi, Hoyame Koku. Hoyame Koku, Hoyame Koku, Hoyame Koku. Let's see what Ahana is gonna do. And another ballad. A lot of ballads this year. A lot of ballads. I'm wondering what's happening. I really like um, the atmosphere of the, of the music video. We we change atmosphere now. It's a more realistic one. That was nice. That was very nice. And she has a very beautiful, soft voice. I love it. <laughs> nice, nice. And she's going strong now. Okay, we see images from friendship. Again, I'm trying to understand if, to see if I will understand uh, from the visuals what the song is about. Again, I'm still impressed by these kids that are going deep and they're thinking more than going out and playing with the friends. I don't remember what was I thinking when I was their age. This part, this part I love. That's beautiful. I uh, I am dehotomized here. <clears throat> One part of me loves how it's picking up, and the other part of me says maybe it's too sudden. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe it's also because it's early morning for me. There is a clear storyline in the music video. It's her and her friend. When I say clear, I mean in the creator's head, it's clear. They are telling a specific story. I haven't understood it yet. Maybe it's too early and you don't understand anything today. I don't know. Let me know if you understand more than me. Also, her voice is very good. I hope she can hit these notes 
live as well. If she can, it can be impactful. Nice. Yeah, what I get from the video is that it's about friendship. Is it? Let me know. Nice, very nice. Uh, I always love the scenes where so you have a close up in the hands and it's like Staying together it should be better, okay. Uh, okay, I actually really liked that she had the English part at the end. Did she have it at the at somewhere else at the song? I just heard it now at the end. And I actually liked it. Because I was enjoying the song. I was enjoying her voice. And uh, I was wondering what the song is about. They, ha they gave me clues with the visuals. And then at the end, they kind of told me, you know, staying together, I will stand by you. I liked my journey into the song, that it got clearer at the end. And last but definitely not least, we have Malta with Yulan singing Stronger. Again, Stronger, something deep. This generation, this generation. Where are we going? Patience. Think you cannot cope another day, but all you need is patience. You learn? I agree. Sometimes all you need is patience. It will get better. Wanting to escape and see that you're amazing. Look at your reflection, all you wanna do is change it. Okay, we're going with a lot of English here, so it's much clearer from the get-go what this song is about. Ooh, ooh, that was good. You're so much more than you know. Very nice. Okay, Yulan, you can sing, girl. I'm getting excited here. I'm getting excited. And I love this um, beat at the back. So this is a ballad as well, but there is a beat and um, it has some changes in the rhythm and the melody. It's, um, it is a ballad with a deep message, but it's also more energetic and I think it will do Malta good because in a, a, a lineup with many ballads, it will stand out, you know. Okay, and her runs of the voice, it reminds me a bit of the girl from Albania. They have very Christina Aguilera-esque runs on their voices. Ooh, ooh, her voice, you love. Also, what is the language in Malta? Because I know in Junior Eurovision you have to have like 70% of the song in your native language. Wait, I'm gonna Google it. Because I'm ignorant. Malta native language Maltese are oh, and English oh that's why and it's building up and we have big vocal moments this is good
girl, a girl can sing. What's going on? I mean, if you can do it, do it. She has the voice and this is like, I'm gonna show you all. I have the voice. I'm gonna hit all the notes. I'm not gonna leave one out from this song. I'm gonna put all the notes in and I'm gonna hit them. We heard three songs, which actually I really enjoyed doing it this way because this is how it will happen in Junior Eurovision. You will listen all the songs in the row and then you will see which one stands out for you. Uh, I really liked all of the songs. Again, I'm gonna say, and I'm very happy that these kids are focused on meaningful issues in the world. That's beautiful to see that this generation is singing about that. Then song-wise, although I enjoyed them all, I think Malta's song stood out the most to me because of the energy that the song has, also her strong vocals. I guess if they are so courageous to put all of these notes in this song, the girl can probably hit them live as well. Like, I'm, from what I heard, although it's recorded, I'm pretty confident that she can hit the notes. And I can't wait to see it. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know which song stands out to you the most uh, of the three, which one you prefer. If you love them all, do you think that any of them can be top 10, top 5, top 3? First, let me know in the comments, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all of the social media, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter, X, whatever, at Costis underscore ESC, and see you very soon. Or a bit later than sooner because I'm very busy these days, but see you. Add another video. Bye!